Hey there, everyone. Hope you are enjoying your Thursday. We appreciate you all joining us here on CBS News. I'm Errol Barnett. And I'm Lana Zak. Here's a look at the top stories we are following for you right now. Rescuers are pulling more survivors from the wreckage in Turkey and Syria, even as the death toll from Monday's devastating earthquake climbs. The time running out, crews are racing against the clock to try and help get anybody out who's still stuck in the region. The uh, Chinese balloon may be down, but that incident still hovering over Washington right now. Uh, today, we're learning new information about China's global spying program. And Southwest Airlines is in the hot seat on Capitol Hill today after that holiday travel meltdown. You'll recall the airline apologized, but that might not be enough for some lawmakers. That's right. And later for you, Congressman George Santos, once again facing scrutiny. We'll have more on his alleged connection to a Ponzi scheme and insight from a former classmate. Plus, artificial intelligence is showing up everywhere from large-scale production to those devices in all of our pockets. We are taking a closer look, though, at how the growing technology could impact the markets. All right, so there's certainly a lot to get to today. Yes. We begin with new information. The State Department now confirming three American citizens died in Turkey from that devastating earthquake which hit the region Monday. Today, the U.S. ambassador to Turkey told CBS News that they are working to try to get more information about those victims. Meanwhile, teams are digging through the rubble. Look at these images. It is now day four in Turkey and Syria, and the death toll has climbed to more than 20,000. Earlier, Ambassador Jeff Flake told CBS News that it is more important than ever to help. Turkey uh, has responded over the years to many natural disasters around the world. I think in over 50 countries on five continents. And so they paid it forward. Uh, so now it's uh, in their time of need, uh, we're stepping up, but we're only doing it at their request and uh, going where they direct us. CBS News foreign correspondent Ramey Innocencio joins us now. Ramey, two U.S. teams are on the ground in Turkey. What can you tell us about their mission? Hi, Lana. Yes, uh, just yesterday, two urban search and rescue.